Lawrence Vandenecker, Global Design Director for Mazda. Well, what you're looking at here is the 2010 Mazda 3. It's a really important car for us because the current Mazda 3 was so incredibly successful for us. So we wanted to do two things. We wanted to improve it as much as we could, keep the good stuff and improve the rest, and then really make sure that people recognize it as a Mazda 3. So starting in the front end, because Mazda is all about the emotion of motion and the soul of a sports car, you see that we're trying to put an exotic sports car front end on what's essentially a C-segment car. So when this thing, this nose sticks out in the garage, you could be fooled for thinking this is actually an exotic car. And we did that by lowering the five-point element grille and making a real feature out of it, concentrating all the air intakes in the center. Then creating these beautiful Nagara-inspired high-tech headlights, really jewel-like, and they actually have adaptable uh, front light steering. And then putting the Mazda badge prominently in the center of the of the bonnet. And like I said, the first impression is of a car that is a, a pure sports car. Then, when you move to the side, you have a very strong shoulder with the Mazda trademark fenders. And this helps us to tie it in to the rest of the family of Mazdas, but it also gives you a sensation that this is a fun-to-drive vehicle. And then when you come slowly to the rear end, you can still see a tie to the Mazda 6, but a really nice LED execution of the taillight. Again, very high quality, jewel-like. And essentially, you know, we're trying to put some a luxury or sophistication in this vehicle that is unexpected for this segment. And then the real surprise is in the interior because we have a, a attention to detail and quality and perception of materials that is just unparalleled in this segment. So what you're seeing here in the interior is for the first time we have a very driver oriented IP with uh, all the controls laid out very logically, intuitively for the driver. Then we have beautiful uh, materials, soft touch plastics with a really nice uh, sporty textures. And of course, one of the first things you'll notice is a MID, multi-information display, uh, connected with a navigation screen, uh, dual zone uh, climate control, iPod Bluetooth connections for cell phones, uh, steering wheel controls for uh, everything that you could wish to, to control, a really nice lighting system that comes up and welcomes you when you get into the car. And like I said, I think if you would see the interior first, you wouldn't expect this to be a C-segment car. And this competes against Honda Civics, Nissan Versas, uh, Toyota Corollas, and we hope that we have a, a good chance, you know. Lawrence, thank you very much. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs>